Hello, today I will do a little let's draw. So this is my Chinese calligraphy brush and I will do a bit of inking. Right, uh, the music I'm listening to is in the description below with a link to it. So this is Addictive Science, which is a webcomic I'm doing. And right here on this page, we are having a high-speed chase. How cool is that? Well, actually not that cool because um, the cars. One is the Mitsubishi L300, which is, of course, the speediest car ever made. Well, no. It's a big, ugly van, but... I think it's kind of nice looking. <laughs> it has a charm to it. Because it's well ugly. And the other car, uh, which is the Batsmobile of sorts, is actually a modified Peugeot 206 automatic. I got the idea when. I saw one in the street and it was the most pathetic looking car I have seen in recent times. Well, not the most pathetic one, that would be the Twingo of my mother, because Renault. Uh, French cars are... Uh. Full throttle. Um, to my American viewers, I have never driven in automatic. I don't know exactly how it works. Yeah. We don't have much automatic here. Apparently it's more fun to drive without one. But anyway, uh, now that we have that in mind, um, I want to just say that um, this will not feature all the page probably being inked at the end because it takes about an hour or so to ink a page it depends uh, easy pages take uh, half an hour but um, yeah usually it's more an hour or so of inking time and I'm quick, so it's not even the longest inking times you will have to see. I'm sorry about the silences. Uh, I seriously recommend you listen to the music uh, in the background or something so that it looks epic and not uh, like some dude being well, at a drawing table and just drawing cartoons. Also, I tend to have uh, quite a few silences in my sentences when I speak. Yeah. C'est la vie. Well, anyway, so let's maybe talk about the comic. I don't know. Yeah, car chase. So, uh, other than that, yeah, you can see there is a guy turning into a pony, well, horse kind of person, you know, like in Legend of Zelda, the horseman. Well, I'm saying Legend of Zelda, it's in the second one. Nintendo did it first. And quite a few other people. I'm not the first one to do that. Never believe that. Never believe what you're reading online. Because you've read it on a blog, I'm sure. That's where all the lies are. Nah, I'm kidding. There are also a lot on uh, official websites too. Hello, Daily Mail! How are you? Uh, by, by the way, small tree... This is important for your life. If you see something and it's from the Daily Mail, don't believe it. Go check another source. 
it's important. So, yeah, uh, it's in the comic, it's a. I'm doing a bit of a poke on uh, My Little Pony, mostly because I have been requested about a bajillion time to do a uh, My Little Pony crossover, which I refuse to make. Uh, the main reason is, well, there are several reasons. First one, I don't know much about the source material. It's, uh, well, uh, so many people will talk about it that I did see uh, an episode or two out of curiosity and as far as cartoons made for little girls are concerned, it's really, really, really good. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I mean, it's nicely animated, the characters are nice, but uh, I have better things to do. And watch My Little Pony. I know it's incredible. I I'm drawing a comic. <laughs> I can't spend all my time watching stuff. Uh, right, and uh, but I'm not here to criticize the show, it's more poking fun at the people who want me to feature the characters from the show. The so one reason is I don't know all that much about it, and I can't be bothered to do the research. Uh, also, um, these characters, they're not mine, and I don't know the author personally, and when it's kind of if I want to sell my cartoon one day, it's, it might be a little difficult if there are characters from uh, another creator in there. Yeah, uh, so you, you have to keep that in mind, because I, I'm a big war, I, I want money. Uh, but seriously, uh, I, I genuinely want to earn money with my art for a simple reason. You know the Beatles? Uh, they were able to be really experimental and stuff once they got rich, essentially, and here it's a bit the same. If I can earn money with art, I can focus on my art. Which is something I really want to do, because currently I have to study. Uh, I kind of have a, a small job, uh, as an aside, but I really want to focus more on art. Uh, luckily, the little job I have is about art. So that is brilliant. Um, I'm teaching a uh, kid how to draw and stuff. And helping out with art projects. Yeah, this is the background. This is the most exciting part to draw and to look somebody drawing, isn't it? No, it isn't. It really isn't. But yeah, backgrounds are important. And when I look back at my early comics, I do notice that I never draw, drew enough background. I mean, uh, I kind of fixed a rule now. At least one full background per page. Um, also, I want to have at least one full character a page. It's not always the case. I mean, here we have a car chase, which is more important. Ooh, the epic car chase. Oh uh, yeah, poking fun at uh, the people who like My Little Pony. But none of the people who like My Little Pony. They're the people who always want to to see the, the favorite comics feature My Little Pony. It's a different license. It's like, yeah, it's, it's uh, Doctor Who and My Little Pony. I don't know. I've seen the, they have figurines of a Doctor Whovian or something like this. So it's a pun on hooves, and it's. I think it's a bit crazy in a way. Uh, it's. I don't know. I mean, the, uh, how people are obsessed with cro uh, crossovers on licenses. Uh, uh, maybe it's because I got traumatized as a child because uh, they had a crossover between Crash Bandicoot and Spider the Dragon and it was awful. Uh, it was 
uh, on the Game Boy Advance the single worst Spyro game I played. And keep in mind, I just left the PlayStation 1. Uh, Spyro games on the PlayStation 1 were great, and then suddenly, BOOM! The horror! Oh, God! Alright, we finish this panel too. Just for you, because I love you. Um, right, let me just check how the L300 looks like again. A 300 Mitsubishi, oh yes, what a beast, what a beautiful machine that is. Oh yes, that's a car, no, it's it's really a bit ugly, but as I said, it, it has a charm, it has a charm to it. It's uh, extremely basic looking and I like that. You have all these complicated looking cars, um, super hard to draw, especially today where they do everything on the computer and uh, you don't have many, you, don't, you kind of lose the, the feeling that somebody thought about the lines that go into it, except maybe, uh, yeah, we, we chose uh, these lines because uh, it looks like the Volkswagen. Golf, and it sells well. So we uh, and the Ford Fiesta. Essentially, cars today look boring, mostly. Uh, there are other issues too. The heavy, the too much electronic. Was it better before? Well, my first car was from the nineties. I think the 90s had better cars in terms of drivability and stuff. Just driving fun really wasn't so heavy, man. Oh, uh, yeah, so here this is genuinely what it looks like the good old 300. Uh, we have friends who have one. Um, they did think several times about ch uh, having another car, but there's just this charm to it. It's so delightfully ugly. Contrast with the uh, sleek Batmobile. Well, it's not the official one, it's kind of a... Uh, I, I'm making sure in this comic that they know uh, it's not the real car. So two people, oh, you could put in some My Little Pony, you do a Batmobile, why why not My Little Ponies? Well, I made sure people know it's not the real Batmobile. It's uh, built from an old Peugeot, it has a cardboard body, and that is not how the proper one was made. I hope so, <laughs> imagine the... Oh god, that... Imagine that um, beautiful Batmobile driven by a badly built French car. Okay, this is where I lose uh, my Peugeot fans amongst my readership. Are there Peugeot fans in my readership actually? Please tell me in the comments below! And we shall talk about why German cars are better. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about that. Right, well, I just finished this panel and then we will stop for today. Um, I could actually make a second video. Uh, the thing is, when the videos get too long, it takes uh, five days or so to upload. Okay, I'm just kidding, but... It takes a ridiculous amount of time to upload videos on YouTube. And I, I'm not even using the HD, I'm just using NTSC because well, the resolution is good enough. But uh, it doesn't take five hours to render the video. And it's much smaller in size. 
Uh, so otherwise I wouldn't really be able to upload it. So wait here. Let's also take a closer look. Yeah. So um, link to the comic in the description below. Have a nice day. Wear your scarf when it's cold outside because your mother tells you so and because it's healthy. See ya.